Hello everyone and a very happy new year to you all. I'm just about to go out for a walk today and I'm going to try out in anger my chicken madras. So I'm looking forward to that. It's about uh, quarter past 11 now. I'm very lucky that uh, very near where I live, I'm looking at it at the moment, we've got this um, crag that overlooks the village. So I'm going to climb to the top of that. It's a beautiful day, um, clear blue skies and uh, my uh, family are out for the day so everyone's a winner. Uh, so I'm going to try out this chicken madras but also a couple of other Christmas presents I was fortunate enough to uh, get this year. I'll give them a go. Um, Paul Messner um, recommended this Trekology uh, camping seat. I don't think I'd take it on um, particularly long camps because it is a bit of a wait to uh, lug around but um, for certainly days out where there's a bit of cooking and so on I think it'll be excellent and I'll uh, I'm sure you've seen it online but uh, I'll, I'll try and video me <laughs> wrestling with this at the top of the crag. Um, I get a very sore lower back uh, after extended walks in fact I'm getting it um, a bit more often uh, at the moment but I don't want to, uh, to give you a sob story uh, so I think this will help me out a lot when uh, I'm uh, at the top of a hill and starting sort of cooking um, and Sorting, and generally sorting out myself. Um, so there's that. Uh, also, I got um, one of these again. Uh, <laughs> I seem to buy everything Paul Messner <laughs> recommends on the internet, but uh, I got given this as well. Um, I won't unwrap it now, but it's one of these um, camping tables that sits very low. I think about sort of three inches off the um, of the deck, um, but keeps everything on the level, certainly if you're um, not near any any convenient places to set up your cooking equipment and so on. So I'm going to give that a go as well. And finally, and I'm really excited uh, about this, I was um, lucky enough, um, my wife gave me dun, 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 this for Christmas. Um, it's the Mavic. Mini. I had um, loan of a Mavic Pro for about 18 months actually and it was brilliant. I had to give it back to the guy that very kindly lent it me but I did find that A it was a bit heavy uh, and B it was well beyond what I actually needed. I just wanted a just a, a, a memory of, um, thing, of, of the pictures and of the places that I've, I've been and I didn't necessarily need it to be of the most cinematic quality that you can get with the more expensive drones. So this one, um, I, I, I'm looking forward to checking it out. It, it's not got a quarter of the features of some of the more expensive ones, but it's a 2.7K camera. It's absolutely tiny. I can't, I can't put it next to my phone because that's what I'm phoning this on. But look at that. You know, that's not, and with the battery, it weighs 249 grams, and I do a bit of traveling, so that gives me freedom in a lot of the countries I travel to, to actually use this drone without um, having to um, uh, um, let the authorities know, or indeed apply for the, uh, for local licenses. Uh, so I'm very much looking forward to uh, having a go at this as, uh, on the walk today. So that's about it. I'm taking up my MSR stove, a couple of other bits there, just um, some coffee, spoon extra gas and a water bottle and um yeah as i say i'm going to walk from the house here it's about um i think an hour um from the door of the house to the top of the crag and i'll hopefully do some videoing on the way just before i go uh, i knew i sort of did the scale of that drone to you using the palm of my hand but um, here's the, the Mini here, and um, this is the controller, all very wrapped up and safe. And I just had this old uh, camera box for um, a Panasonic Lumix that I had uh, some time ago. Um, and it's, it probably looked big because I'm holding it close to the camera, but I can get in here the controller. The Mavic Mini. And there's room there um, because I've got a power bank which takes three batteries for this Mavic Mini. And that fits in there as well. All, it weighs absolutely nothing. And that's just a normal, I'd say, small SLR sized uh, camera bag from Low Pro. 
Um, when I was taking the uh, Mavic Pro out on my walks, I just seemed to have bags of gubbins and I had this great sort of tube, almost like the size of this Trekology pa uh, pouch there, and which just held the Pro and then I had the controller in a different bag and so on. Got the whole shebang, including three spare batteries, all the leads and everything in a camera case. It's just fantastic. And um, one of my New Year's resolutions this year is to try and work out where the lens is filming me from in this uh, uh, phone, um, because it's it's still an iPhone, but everything's in a different place than it was on my previous phone. I think I'm looking at you now, and I'm just gonna point where I think the lens is. I'm still, yeah, so if I look there, I should be looking at all um, 61 um, subscribers. <laughs> right, I'll try this walk. So I'm on my way, and as I say, I live in the pre-residential part of the village, and uh, beautiful day though, so really lucky. So, and then about uh, 30 minutes, I'll be up in the hills. Well, I'm about 30 minutes into the walk now, and this um, village where I live in North Yorkshire is dominated by uh, a reservoir and a couple of really wonderful crags. Um, it's difficult, I've got um, face recognition on this. <laughs> Um, sort of vlogging machine here and so it's difficult to point out but as I speak I'll put a cutaway in there to show you the uh, crag but one of them's just um, up here and uh, above me on, uh, down the path here and there's another one which is uh, right the way up here um, which is sort of lesser known it's about 30 feet higher than the uh, the main one that overlooks the village and I'm gonna go to that one hopefully um, be less people there it is, uh, still the Christmas holidays and there's a few people out walking around the reservoir here. So uh, I'll get on my way and uh, see if it's uh, nice and quiet up there. Well, you just got beat. a backdrop like that. Um, it's been a bit warmer these last few days, it's pretty boggy underfoot. But uh, the only thing concerning me is that there wasn't a breath of wind at the bottom of the hill but as I climb obviously wind does increase but it's sort of increasing exponentially <laughs> into uh, uh, reasonably gusty at the moment um, which means that uh, the drone might uh, be off limits but I think I read the manual typical bloke I think it's about 20 mile an hour wind limit on it which Bearing in mind that's at the very top of it, uh, well where I'll be flying it, at the altitude where I'll be flying it, I'll have to kind of work that one out so I don't lose it. But um, even if I can just get it airborne, hover it, take a few photos, that'll be good. Anyway, we're going to have to negotiate these uh, boggy bits for now, so there'll be uh, no video at all. I'll get over today. I love the summer. I don't like short days, but sometimes in the winter you get these incredibly crisp blue days. And fortunately, get this little bit of time off to do a bit of walking and uh, really getting an idea of the. Uh, the views down there with the crag uh, 
behind me. It's about uh, 20 more minutes walk now to the place where I'm uh, going to set up temporary camp to do a bit of cooking. So I'll uh, keep on with it and speak to you later. Well, you'll obviously see the footage by now, but that was taken with this incredible little thing, the Mavic Mini. And hopefully they've come out okay. So this little crag here dwarfs, um, we're above it now, dwarfs the uh, crag that most people favour. Um, and it's a little bit quieter, no more difficult climb. Um, I think you can just see the... Uh, I haven't pointed it there. That's, uh, we've just risen above the crag that we were looking at uh, earlier on. And there it is there. Well, there's the marker of the crag ahead of me. I think you can see that white dot shining in the sunlight there. And although I have stopped a few times to try out the drone and to obviously set up the camera for the bits of this vlog uh, moving time from my watch um, from leaving the door of the house is 49 minutes and I feel very fortunate to uh, have this right on my doorstep uh, so I'm using uh, auto exposure at the moment but uh, I'll let it compensate as I pan round that's looking up the road that leads into uh, the Yorkshire Dales up to Halls and so on into Wensleydale and over my back shoulder is uh, Wharfdale but you can just see I think just above the wall line there there's the crag marker and what a day to be out So just below the summit of the cairn, last year I discovered a lovely little hideaway with the most fantastic views over the dale. But this spot here, I mean, there's 
I think you could just about get a yeah you get a one person tent here but I chose to bivy and the beauty of it was that this overhanging rock here if the weather had been in the slightest bit iffy it did turn out absolutely stunning but if it had been slightest bit iffy then there's shelter to actually get the hood of the bivy right under that overhang very pleased that I got my drone out earlier because although this bit here is really sheltered about five yards that way it's it's blowing I think probably out out of the limits I'm gonna launch it um, just uh, maybe just to take a couple of photos very close in but as soon as I get a strong wind warning from it I think it's best to uh, knock it on the head I don't want to lose it on <laughs> first day of trying it out. So water's just about to boil. I've got my chicken madras I'm very much looking forward to try. I think I'll have my coffee first. And I'm very pleased with my table. And I've just discovered that the table doubles up as a drone launch pad.
Well, I've just uh, flown the drone and the, the poor thing looked like a... I don't know if you can hear this, I'll do a voiceover if you can't. Um, flown the drone and the poor thing looked like a stranded animal out there. <laughs> it, was, it was flying into the wind sideways at about 45 degrees and I kept getting warnings. I think I got some footage, I just got very worried about the poor thing though. Um, and so uh, I, I packed the drone up. Um, but more importantly, this is what uh, came out here for, to uh, try the chicken madras uh, out in anger. Um, and yeah, I, I usually would intend to eat it straight from the bag, but I'm sure you're all eager to see what it actually looks like. So I'll, I'll pour it into a bowl. I think it's looking pretty good, but it does need that little bit of uh, butter or ghee. Here we go. It does look good. on the chair. Um, yeah. Oh God. Feel, feel the wildlife. There is Chicken Madras. Um, difficult to get the till. I don't want to pick up the camera, but it looks good to me. It smells good. Of it, that's 150 grams, and I've given it 10 minutes with the water in it. It tasted good in the house, but out here it's extra special. And that is just delicious. I don't know, it's blowing my own trumpet because I did sort of do it myself and it's sort of saying my own cooking's good. But I love it. Um, I was a bit worried that it was going to be a bit too spicy. It certainly seems so in the house a little bit, but it's not at all. It really is. It's nice, and um, I'm very pleased. Now that's a, this is a full portion, 150 grams before uh, rehydration, and I think that's a really good bowl full of food which you'll need. So I'll just enjoy sitting back and. Uh, and eating this and make my way home. So very reluctantly it was time to pack up my temporary camp and make my way back down the hill. Well, I thoroughly enjoyed that, and what a day. Unfortunately, all good things must come to an end, so I'm going to have to make my way down the hill now. But uh, I'll be very interested to see how that drone and the gimbal coped in the wind. But thank you very much again for watching. And I uh, can't think what to do on the next one. Probably do a bit more dehydrated food. I've got a Thai chicken uh, curry in mind. I'll have a go at that and uh, hope to get something uh, posted in the next couple of weeks. Thanks for watching.